everyone and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies. Franz here as always and well I think it's time we just invaded that. You know, let's take their shipyards and everything off of them because then they're not going to be able to do anything. Oh, you got a little bit more here than I anticipated but to be honest we have more than enough to deal with you. So move you down here a little bit, buddy. Move you back. I haven't really done any organization or fleet because it's basically we're just kind of going in and stomping them right now. Wow. I'm hit! I'm hit! You'll be fine. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Get rid of that. So many rockets. I. This is just such a good uh, force right now. Very pleased with it. And down it goes. That's that one. You gonna give up yet? There you go. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Now, the only thing is we're not being going... Well, we got that there. We uh, It needs a little bit of repairing, but not too much in the way of anything. Let's uh, head over here. That is a huge shipyard, actually, there, which is really good for us. Don't really have anything we might build, or at least design, uh, a huge carrier. We do have, like, quite a bit of cash coming in. There we go, and evade. I'll just go along, it's like... And start. Oh, you got more here, okay. Everybody attack, assault, everything. Blow up. Beginning the attack run. Blow them up, blow them up, blow them up. Yeah, hey. Oh, uh, you look like you, you're you going down. Don't you worry, we'll get you. All three of them are basically down at the same time. Yeah, hey. All right, let's uh, head in here. It's got a small shipyard. And we'll take this and put you there. And start. What the heck is that? That's a pretty cool design, actually, though. You are now mine. That's actually nicely designed. I like that. That's quite cool. All right, and let's carry on. And we do have another famine in here. Oh, you're over here. Ah. So that's where your ships have been. <laughs> that's kind of not good. We're going to need to retreat back, actually, if this keeps up. Because that's some pretty powerful ships there. That's going to blow. You might want to put that out, buddy. You may, yep, you may wish to put that out. Alright, so we got taken down here. So let's uh, move this famine. Uh, hmm... I'm going to move you back, I'll move you to here, and then we'll move you to here. What are you doing? You are, you're heading there. Let's move you up. You're still heading there. Okay, fair enough. And else going down here? Oh, you're coming back to fight, are you? Right, so once they're back here, we can check out anybody needing fixed. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, this slightly. <laughs> Barely, really, to be fair. Now, they're sending that there. I don't know how much... Because I'm guessing if we want to make a very large carrier, it's going to be costly. Very costly. But you know what? Let's design it anyway. So we're going to design it. And well, basically, we're going to need to have a lot of aircraft. And probably want to stick with bombers and biplanes. So obviously, bombers are going to be like the top of it. I love how it says insidious. So, I'm going to have it have three bombers. It's going to have a biplane at the front. Actually, two biplanes at the front. No, three biplanes at the front. And under this, we're going to have this, this, and this. And... Because I'm wondering if I should actually split it. Like that's kind of the I like that's how much ships I want on it, and you already see the price of it. But I'm wondering if we should actually have it so that the bombers are here, but then we split this. So we get rid of this, this, and all this just now. And um, we're going to have the bombers here, so we're going to place uh, the bomber back in. There we go. And then we're going to actually put our command in the middle. So you can have the, you know... We can have the, not the cockpit, the bridge. So we're going to have the bridge, followed by some quarters. 
We don't need that bit, I don't think. We just need a sick bay, and I think that's it, because we're not going to have... It's going to be have some anti-air on it, but it's not going to have too much. We're then going to have... This needs to go here, doesn't it? I wonder if we... Can we I wish we could move that as a whole. But I'm going to place... This needs to be here. So it needs to be up at the top, basically. So do that, and do that. Right, so we have that in. We have the lift. We then need to put command and crew. So we need to put in the bridge, which is going to be slightly underneath this. So we're going to put the bridge here. And then I'm going to put quarters here. We're going to put quarters and quarters there. It does need a lot of men because obviously the, the amount of planes we're going to be putting on it. I'm going to put sick bay right here. Now these do need coal. So let's see. Uh, resources, coal. I mean, if we put coal there, it's going to be right next to that, and it could blow. How much of coal do these use? One unit of coal every... Alright, so if we get rid of this, this, and this, and this, and this, and we'll place that there, that there, we're going to put fire point right in between them. We could then have... I mean, we should actually have a repair, like, shop on this, to be fair, with the way things are. Reinforced steel cargo door... Doesn't really need ammo at the moment, but it will soon enough. Let's do that. Structural. Need a corridor ladder, but I think I'm going to put... Because we're going to put fire doors here, here. That can't go there, but it can go there. You can see that's there. Why is it you don't... Yeah, there we go. So it's nice and connected. I don't think that can... No. Didn't think so. So we'll just put a corridor in there. All right, uh, let's uh, yeah, you know what, we'll put, can't put a fire door there, can't put anything there. Oh, it's because it's got that little dent there, so that's going to be probably the same on that side. Let us see, let's see. We'll just put a normal one there. Could that have a corridor? No, it's not going to do that, so we'll put that there. That could be a corridor loop, I believe. Nope, never mind then. There we go. So they can get to each one. There we go. It's all connected. And then we're going to do the same on this side. But I'm not sure if we have enough in this. Like, we want to make sure we have... Well, I mean, machine shop's probably going to be... How many machine... How much is that? So that gives you repair plies of 400. Hmm. Commanding crew. Put bridge. And the quarters, the quarters. Right, so we're 24 and recommended crew 20. Alright. That doesn't need anything in front of it, so we could actually put... Uh, well, we do want to put the aircraft in, first of all. So we're going to have the biplane. Now, we're going to actually move it out slightly. There we go. Because then we could have some sort of muskets or something in front of this, so it's sort of a little bit of anti-air. Actually, could I have aerial torpedoes? Hmm. We could actually, I mean, how much distance do you have? A maximum range, 2,800. We could, we could have Gatling guns actually sitting next to this. So let's get rid of this just now. We want to have, unless we have deck guns. Like that. Which, can they take out air? Shoots troops and planes within 28 meters. Could have flat cannon. No, we don't want to call You know what? That that seems actually pretty good. I'm going to leave that like that. Suspendium cannon. No, because that needs that. And then we will add on the biplanes right to here. No, that needs that. Hmm. Let's move you up one. Move you up one. Move you up one. And then we can put the biplanes on there, there, and there. Voila. <laughs> the ship has no propulsion. Good point. Good point. And uh, we need some ammo now. Okay, so let's go resources, ammo. Gives you... How much ammo does that give you? It gives you 100. That should be enough to do that. We're going to do a reinforced cargo door there. That will give us... It doesn't actually give us the supply we need. We'll then place that, that there. 
I'll take that away. What's their pathing? Is that okay? It's okay. Command and crew. We need to have another quarters. Let's place another one there just so that people can get to and from. Then we're going to do one. See, these, I think, can only fit two. And then we do that and that. Nope. That, oh, get up there. All right, so we got that there. We still need more supply. We'd have a guard barracks just to keep things nice and safe. Bring that down, bring that down. We could have a crow's... Uh, no, we don't need a crow's nest, do we? Telescope. Right, slight reduced structural integrity due to large signs. Yes, it is a very large ship. Which is what we were after. I'm gonna go to not to armor. We wanna go probably need to make this higher actually. I feel like we're gonna need to like see if we take this out. Take that away. We then wanna put in another one of them right here. Along with another one of them. Take this out just now. We're gonna need to take this out, so we're gonna need to just remove all this again. Sadly. We're then going to go to lift. We're going to go large suspendium chamber one and two. So it gives us a nice solid ceiling. I feel like we should actually make that all fire doors just all the way along just to protect it. It doesn't have any propulsion though. Large propeller. I mean we could see a large propeller at the back but then that's going to need something to make it move. That also needs to... Yeah it needs... Speed. I, I mean, we don't really want it moving, but I suppose it's going to need to be able to move in some sense. So, having a large propeller at the back, but then that's going to need access to some coal. Let's see. Overlays, coal. Yeah, it's like so far away from that. Uh, I don't really want to do this, but I'm going to actually place like this small coal here. Ha! Huh. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. I was hoping it could kind of connect to each other, but apparently not. I'm going to place a nice wee fire extinguisher there. And then we'll add on this. We'll just shape that out with some extra armor and stuff. But this here is kind of like okay. I'm going to put a fire door here, 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 and here, here, and here. And do we need more coal? Because that's going to, that gives us 150. They're going to use one piece of coal every... So that's going to be four times every 10 seconds. We could put a small... Uh, we could put a large keel. Or we could do, like, one of them there and one of them there. Yeah, there we go. I like that. So got a little bit of propulsion, got a little bit of height, and right, okay, so now we need to kind of structurally sound this sort of guy. I mean, let's see, we want to keep our, our pathing clear, so they can get there, and there, and there. Alright, so we got that there, which is great. We're going to use a small one, because that does take, uh, so-so. Do we need actually anything else added to this though? Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna let's go back into the weapons. Bombay. Um, we wanted. Where is it? Wanted deck guns. So one there, one there, and one there. Take that away. Go to resources. Get the ammo. Connect you there and there. Yeah, put you there and there. Right, so we do need to. It seems like we're going to need a little bit more crew. Let's place you there. The pathing, so it goes here, but they don't have really much in the way of pathing up that way. So we're going to actually place a, a corridor here, so connect to that and that. And also to there, and then there, 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 there. Right, there we go. Small drills are not mutually accessible. What? Where? Where is it not mutually accessible? Where is it not actually accessible? You're not telling me that where where everything seems to be accessible here. 
could actually take that out and that out though and we could actually add in a steel one resources a reinforced steel one there we go where is it not mutually accessible can i take that away and just add a corridor no dang it where is it I don't get where this is saying that this is... Huh. Alright then, you know what? Let's just carry on and we'll soon find out. Right. Biplane there, biplane there, biplane there. Followed by... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Right, so we got two there. We then want to add on the shapes. No, it's not in there. Structural. We'll add on this. To reinforce the ship. Actually, we could probably just put on a large one and on a large one. There we go. We I just realized that that's not gonna have access in between, but it should be okay. We just connect that all up there. We connect that all up there so it has ships not mutually accessible. Where? I don't know where it's not mutually accessible, to be fair. And it's not really telling me where. Ships modules are not mutually accessible. What do you mean not mutually? Where is it not accessible? Hmm? Because I'm not seeing where it's not, like, access. Because we've got this pathing path you can... Get anywhere you want. Hmm. I think it might mean that, like, you've only got certain ways to get to that. Which ideally is what we want, anyway. Alright, now that that's done, let's go into our shapes and decorations. So we want to fill this in just now. We then want to drag all the way down here. Do we want... Do we need this? No. Do we need that? No. Let's just get some... Lovely design work here. Like, so that's a 4x4. Four four. This one is needed. There we go. And there we go. Let's flip that around. Go that way. And that way. Nope, we need, uh, need the slightly smaller one. Nope, slightly smaller one than that. Yep, there we go. And then we scroll all the way up and we can have this, this here, this here. We then want to kind of do something like this here. We need, yeah, we need that. Just to give it a little bit of a, a shunt at the front. Oh wait, it's now not saying that they're not mutually accessible. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. It doesn't have much of the way of service ceiling, I've noticed, but we, we do have a lot of open space here actually, so we could, in theory, put down a little bit of the extra lift. So we could actually have a suspendium chamber in there, tucked just in there. Modules, let's see, basic corridor. Make sure that they can connect to that really quickly. Alright, let's see, um, what else do we want to do this? I mean, this is a sizable, huge, huge ship. Uh, how does it look on the outside? Yeah, we haven't even added, actually, armor to it. Steel armor is going to add a lot of weight to it. The steel armor is going to take its service ceiling down to next to nothing. What we could look at doing, actually, is we've got the structural, right? We could actually look at putting in some struts. So we could have like strut here, strut here, not there, we want it there. And then here as well, and here, here, here.
The server ceiling is dangerous at all. Mm, yeah, well, I can see that, you know? I can certainly see that, game. Right, there we go. And let's go back to the modules. Lift. We could actually add these guys onto the bomb. That really didn't add as much as I was hoping it would add, though. But, what is this? That gives you 250. How much? That gives you 900 lift. Do they blow up a simple low maintenance way to keep airship afloat? How much do they add? Eight hundred. Uh, they might be better than them. Then let's take these away. We'll add this on. And it is adding more service ceiling. I suppose it's literally going to set the back. Um, what if we? Uh, let's just take these away. Right, because they're not going to add too much to wave for well, anything to it. What if we ha kind of hung these on like that? So that's like... Um... So we're going to put two together. Take these away at the moment. Take this away. Because that's going to need a space, so that needs to then go here, so it needs that there. Then we can add this on. Take this away into space. It's gonna be here, so free apart. We can add that on. I suppose that, like we have to think about it. It's gonna be sitting at the back, so it's a nice, cheap, effective way. I, I would at least hope. Gives us forty-five ceiling. Which is slightly better than what we had. Um, I don't think we can fit any more of these chambers here. A little bit of a shame, but it's not going to be going too fast. It's got 60 crew. It's got a little bit extra suspendium chamber in there. Um, we could add another one on. Like here. I don't know if that's going to put it... This will not be sitting at the front, basically. Max. The cost to build this ship. The max is 25. This is going to be a costly ship. Holy crap. All right. Okay. So we're going to... I like the name Insidious, but we're going to call it Pess Delance. I really hope I spelled that right. All right. Save the design. Save the spit. There we go. Can't build it anytime soon, no, but we will be able to build it eventually. Right. Where are you going? You are over here and you're heading towards that. So that's not too great. Is this nearly rebuilt? Nope, it's nearly not. How are these guys doing? Famine has been repaired. Right, famine is repaired. Invade. Oh, hello. What do we got here? Oh, just a one ship this time. Makes a blood change. <sighs> okay, let's see what else we can do. Um, we're attacking up here. Nope. <laughs> you you destroyed a fragment. Whoop to do. Do this. As soon as that, like that, oh wow. Beginning bombing run, and it's gone. There we go, excellent. Okay, and you st are still heading over there. Let's invade this. Oh, let's see. Oh, you're starting again. Hello, how are you doing? Right, we are heading up that way. They are still coming, which makes me believe that they have a little bit more power than I'm ex suspecting. But we are kind of trouncing their empire right now, so... <laughs> Hello there. And place that there. Whoa, <laughs> it's just all the planes just fly out. I can't wait to actually bring in the, the carrier, though. That's going to be pretty cool. What we'll try and do before we end this episode, try and get one of them built and test it out. Oh dear. Hello. 
Okay, so you are intriguingly right here. I'm going to put you back there. We do have some plane support, so let's ram you. Charge! Right, rope onto this. It has no more men left. It's just cutting into the front of it. Charge! Charge, men! Charge! There we go. And here we go. Wait, what? I've caught this? Ho oh, ho! I have actually caught it! Mine! Back, 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 back. I've actually got this! So can I... Oh, the suspendium chamber's out. Oh, crap, they also took the one out in there. Can this not rise? RISE! RISE! Doesn't have much in a way. Oh, bollocks. No, oh God. It's gonna blow, it's gonna blow. Uh, we've lost command of it. <sighs> we've lost a chunk of it, mind you. That one is gonna go. Let's, you know what, let's just continue. They're focusing on that, not on the famine, at least, so. Well, that, that that's a thing. Why is that same fragment of airfield? Oh. We don't want to lose a famine, so I'm going to select this. How is the famine doing? In Charge forward! Dun, 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 dun. It will crush you! And I lost... Oh, crap. Flee. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose it. Please tell me I didn't lose it. Phew. Alright, move back there. Move back. Ah, uh, why is this not in the... Hey! No, 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 no! Oh, God. <sighs> Bollocks. Hi, how you doing? Move you back. There's only one of those airfields there. I really hope this has enough in it to hold itself. I mean, the armor repairs, but that's about it. Go. Cool. Come on! Get out of here! No, you don't. No, you don't. Seriously, you did so I had to land on my head? Can I move you? Can I move? Can I? Can I move? Move! Aha! I can move! <laughs> That's hilarious. I move back. Oh god! Oh! Oh no! Oh dear! Push! Hold! Come on! Hold! Hold! Oh, this. I might lose this. It doesn't have anything to fire with now, but... Is the other ship still over there? Nah, it's there, but... Oh yeah, we wanted to add more actual ammo to this guy, weren't we? That might be a, a thing to do at some point, you know? Come on, go away. Shoot. Ow, famine, no! Hey, leave me alone! Did I just get hit by lightning? No. God dang it. Please get hit by lightning? Yes, okay, it survived. Probably barely, never mind anything else. There we go. Right, we need to go into defenses. I need to refit you. You need extra ammo. You burn through it really quick. How much ammo does that take? Four ammo per shot. Okay, sure. Sure thing. Let's place that there. And we will actually take that away. We'll then go into structural and then we'll add this here. This here. This here. Take that away, that way, that that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. We'll go into resources, go into ammo. And then we will put this and this here. Alright. Well then go in a quick save of the design. Just add some extra ammo and then we'll leave. I'll refit you. No open design. That. Open. And refit. Leave. The only thing is I'm refitting that. Please don't click. Please don't click. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, well, guys, I think I'm going to leave it there for today's episode of Airship. So thank you very much for watching, No, uh, We have, well, I suppose, invaded quite a bit up here. So thank you so very much for watching, guys, and, and enjoying it. Uh, we will hopefully get the ship built next time because it does cost a huge amount. But we do have quite a lot of income coming in as well. We also have to fight back this. Oh, we have an aerial jelly. Yes, that's where we want to go fight. Which is Devastator. We can place that. Devastator versus aerial jelly. I think that may be the next episode. I'll see you all next time.